Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Super Mario Odyssey. So, now that we're on the moon, finally, it's it's been a while since we're last here, but now we actually get to explore this area a lot more, and actually get some more moons around here. <laughs> There's one right there as well. We also have to collect the rest of the star bits around the place. But anyway, let me just kick these as far as possible because you can can just kick them and they just go. Not as far as I hope though. But anyway, let's go get this power moon, which I'm pretty sure there are invisible blocks underneath it, but I just like to long jump straight to it. Shining above the moon was a moon. There's logic in there somewhere. Yeah, there's definitely invisible bl invisible blocks here. But anyway, we've also got these all these characters over here, including Mr. Captain Toad himself. You beat Bowser! I mean, you always do, but still, good job. Oh, and I haven't been slacking off either. I found a Power Moon for you. Thanks, Captain Toad. Just beautiful. Ah, come on. I know. 32% more blue than green. Yeah, probably. <laughs> it's, it is very round. How strange to be gazing up from the moon instead of at it. That's true. Nothing else? Looks like a tasty pie, wouldn't that... I uh, wouldn't mind a slice of that. Well, there's one thing that we can actually do here. And that's look at the hint art that we have from somewhere. Right here. From the Cap Kingdom. Which, um... Should look slightly familiar to us. Just, just slightly. But yeah, these, this, like, pixel art kind of thing. All of this blocky stuff. But when we go back to the game, it's actually the characters from each of their, their each of the different worlds. It's really cool, but anyway, I believe I wasn't actually paying attention to where the X was, but it's right here. I don't know how I remember that, but anyway. Found with Cap Kingdom Art. Let's find out what else we can do here. I think there's actually something right here that we can do. Right off this edge. And that's a pixel pipe. It's also cool having the all of these um, moon blocks here, considering what they've done throughout all the worlds we've been to now. I feel like I should have had hit the block in this world before going into this pixel area. It's also cool here with the, um, I like the low, gra 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 low gravity in this kingdom as well. Yeah, I needed to hit the moon block, that's a shame. Okay, so we'll be coming back to this 2D section in, in just a second. So let's head on up. And let's keep going. It feels very slow with the low gravity. I think there's also some purple coins over here. Nice. So many purple coins. And I love that they're star bits. I know I... No, I... I want to go off track to get purple coins, but I also want to hit the block so I can actually... Um... Get the rest of the moons. Also, this enemy here is like the, um... Seaside Kingdom boss, but just one hit regular enemy. I'm pretty sure. Just like that. And he gives us some coins. But anyway, the block's over there, and we need some more purple coins. I love how far you can jump with a long jump in this kingdom. Also, it's interesting seeing star bits look like this, because it means that if we had a new Mario Galaxy game, that's probably, they would probably look somewhat like that. Probably? Probably a bit more shiny though. But anyway, let's hit this block. I don't know how a moon block got here from the moon, but you know. 
I'm sure it makes sense somehow. But anyway, let me figure out where the rest of these moons are actually going to be. Starting off with this over here. Actually, I might not be able to get this. No, I can. I just can't get the one that's in the air. Just need a long jump across here. And then... Long jump back. And there we go, but I can't get- I can't get the one in the air because I need something else first. Taking notes on the moon surface. Uh, let's actually head back over to the 8-bit area since there's actually another moon there now. So, somewhere in here, I believe it's up in that top area, is, I believe, some notes for us to collect. I'll go quickly. There we go. And there it is. Okay. Let's see if I can get these. I probably can. Especially if I make all these jumps. There we go. I love these 2D sections. Taking notes in low gravity. Also, if you fell down, you would fall out of the 8-bit area and out of the world. But anyway, uh, I think there was some moons over this way as well. Probably in a pipe that only appeared after I hit the moon block. Up here. Yep, there it is. It explains why I thought about ground pounding there earlier. Also, this is cool because it's an 8-bit section again, but also it's Super Mario Galaxy gravity physics, you know. Well, not really Super Mario Galaxy, but you know, it's still kind of galaxy because of the way that it works. Being heavily Mario Galaxy inspired. Also, we can just launch ourselves, apparently. You can see where the gravity for each planet is by the rings around them. Which seem to move with the planets for some reason. This one, at least. It's really cool. I, I really like... I really like... Also, we definitely can't go that way because of all that lav lava. I, thought, I still feel like there's something over there that I need to keep in mind. Oh, that's where I ride. Whoops. That's where I'm supposed to jump off. But not into the lava, into the other gravity is where I'm supposed to jump. Oh well. It means I get to enjoy this 8-bit area longer. Whee! Gravity! Oh my gosh. I'm flying. I could probably make some more risky jumps around here, but I probably shouldn't as well. Just gonna jump out there. Hit that. I also feel like if I make this jump here, this is the secret area. For the secret moon, we have to jump in between these two planets for the edge of the galaxy. Jump. 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 Okay, there we go. Now we can follow th this area. And the gravity switch is in the middle. Oh, please grab that. I think I can just jump for it without having to be running. There we go. Center of the galaxy. So there we go, that's that pixel section. Probably one of the best ones. So let's get out of here. Okay, what else, what else do we have? We have the Koopa uh, walking thing. You know, walking. I love walking. So I feel like there's something else here as well that I haven't done yet. But 
but I think I can't do that just yet. So let's do some walking. Some trace walking. This one's probably a very difficult one though. 80 points to win. Oh my goodness, that these edges are making this very difficult. I feel like I swung too wide out. Yep, just a little bit. Just a little bit. 75 points, that's a shame. Well, let's try that again. And try not to fail. You can kind of see your footprints as a reference point, but also... Also, no. They disappeared too quickly to really use. Okay, I swung... Well, uh, I guess that works. Let's try it again. Need to do a lot better than I have these previous two runs. I don't like that slope there. Oh, too wide again. Way too wide. But I got 81 points. Wow, good job. I did it. Walking on the moon. Yep. Yep. Anyway. Let's do it again for 90 points and get another moon. Oh, that was a little bit wobbly. I feel like I went too far in this time, but also... You, oh, wow. I was trying to turn a lot more than I really needed to. It's difficult to really know, though. I wonder if the compass stays on the screen. It does. That's interesting. So you could, theoretically, you could use the compass as a kind of... Oh, too f No, too far in. Ah! Ah! Just... Never mind. This is a failed attempt. There's no way. Oh, hey, I can start again. Right? Right? Theoretically, you could use the, um... The marker on the map to try and work out where exactly you need to walk. <laughs> 11 points! I did it! Okay, let's try this again, and let's actually try to pay attention. I don't like that slope. Let's use the end point as a reference. Oh, close. 86 points. I can do this, I believe in me. I'm pretty sure I exist. I exist. Did I swing too wide? I might have swung too wide. Nope, that was actually really good. 91 points, good enough. This one is definitely the hardest one to do. Walking on the moon, again! I did it, I walked on the moon twice. I'm just gonna jump over that. And let's head over to this corner that we haven't gone to yet. Grab that, please. Hit that. Please hit that. There we go. Got him in midair. Give me the moon while I'm standing on it. Quartz hopping on the moon. Now let's also go up this way since we can wall jump between these two walls. Some coins and also a pipe. Let's go down here. A couple of secret areas, which is kind of surprising. Oh my goodness, this looks like fun. Oh, still low gravity. You need to be very aware of which secret areas have low gravity and which ones don't. I, I think. Well, maybe they all have low gravity. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. But I love this, this, this place. I like... I really like the moon block levels that are all colored and colored, colored like this. 
Especially with the, the special stuff being a different color and then... Yeah, the, the regular platforms be one color. Oh, that was close. But anyway, I think I need to go up there. For a moon. Oh, I missed. That's fine. I can try that again. Oh, I missed again. And I can surprisingly save myself. Oh, it's on that platform there. Okay, well. Also, don't think I need to be here just yet, but here works for getting further ahead. It's gonna hit you. Oh my gosh. That was close. <laughs> to working and also not working. Okay, here works. Just gonna stand up here and let's grab this moon. A swing on top of a swing. Swingception. It's good to know you can use Cappy to just hold yourself in the air for a few extra seconds. Even if you don't cat bounce, you can still hold yourself in the air for a few seconds. After you throw. But anyway, that's that done. How many moons are there in this kingdom? 38. So there's, there's a few. But we still have quite a bit to do. So let's launch ourselves. Oh, there's a timer challenge as well. I can work with a timer challenge. Okay. Except I don't have Cappy for this, so I need to be a little bit careful. There we go. I also like the color of these blocks being the grayscale to kind of match the rest of the world. <laughs> just kicking rocks. Anyway, let's just jump straight across here if I don't mess that up. I was pretty sure you're supposed to use the the running flowers, but anyway, there's a uh, chest here with a moon in it. Cliffside treasure chest. Well, so if I'm wrong, I believe... Yeah, you can actually change which kingdom you're looking at for moons by just going left or right with a left stick. So I, I could probably use that if I need to figure out which areas I need to finish up later on, but first let's get this kingdom finished up. Very nice. Now let's launch ourselves again, if I can. Very nice. And it's got rings, ring of coins around that, so there must be something to see. Somewhere? So much darkness in space. I feel like Oh, maybe it's just to look at the the end. Probably. So let's get rid of that then. And let's get these purple coins. Die. Okay, three more pu purple coins left. And I think they're actually at the church thing. But anyway, look who it is. Time to get some questions done. Greetings, traveler, and to your hat as well. Can you answer my riddle? What type of flower did the traveler offer to the bride? Uh, the, 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 uh, the rocket flower. Poison prana plant. Rocket flower. You are correct. Perhaps that wasn't much of a riddle. Anywho, proceed. We're not done yet. Have you not been asked enough questions yet? Let's, let us see how you do with this one. Which animal can't be found in this land? Sheep. Everything else we can find. Hmm, yes, correct. You are a formidable one. If you require questions, I have another. See if you can answer a third time. The objects that fell on all the kingdoms of the world, what kind of... World were what kind of rock? Sun. Moon. Fire. Water. You missed air. And also... Earth. You missed... What if it was Earth? You never know. It was Moon. Well now, three correct answers. Well done, Traveler. 
I've been saving this one. Answer me this. Where is the secret entrance to the wedding hall in this kingdom? Above the shadow, below the bell, inside the seed. Hmm. The side door. It's below the bell. We haven't seen it yet, but we know that. Correct, but... Did you really know that? It's kind of... Kind of tough getting up to that bell. Aha, you were just pretending to know. That was just a lucky guess. You lucky guesser, you. No, I know. I just... I've played the game before. What a pain. Alright, let's settle this. I now present the final question. How did I travel to this place? Um... Floated by airship sail? Yeah, that seems... Actually, that's probably the answer because we've seen him around each in each world just flying around, so... Other options that are wrong, probably. I flew up on your wings. I can... He doesn't, he doesn't have wings. Rode, a, rode in a rocket. I don't think he feared. Maybe he would. Or warped here. I would believe warped here. But floated by air, airship sail. This cannot be. You can't possibly have answered all my questions correctly. But I suppose I couldn't stay on top forever. Well done. Take this. Moon quiz, amazing. I have no more questions for you. Okay. Uh, there's also a... A moon... Up there. And I don't know... If I can reach it right now. With what I currently have. Ow. Especially if I bonk. Let's go into this cave. I can probably drop, to drop down for it as well. Oh hey, coins. I can buy more moons. Because I need more moons, obviously. Um, let's try this again. So, ground pound of that. Throw a cappy, bounce, and then... There. Hidden on the side of the cliff. Very nice. Now, what else is there to do? I'm assuming this is just a ring of coins for no reason, right? Or is this a... Moon rock? Nope, it's just a regular rock. There's a glowing spot over here, though. I'm pretty sure this is nothing, but I'm gonna check anyway. Oh, it's a heart. Okay. Also, I believe after beating the game, this flower is available over here. Which means we can just skip the entire cave. Which we couldn't do before. Although there might also be some stuff down there, maybe? I don't know, I'm gonna have to check if there's nothing else left. Everywhere else. There's also a flagpole right here. So let's grab that. And let's explore around here a little bit more. There's some moon pieces to collect. Oh, and there's a rumble. Just coins. There's also this frog here, which means we can go pretty much everywhere. But there's also this little mini UFO thing, like what we fought in the flower garden. Which is like the, um... The birds that fly away when you get too close. So let's throw a cappy! Nope. Ah... To get it to respawn now. Like that. And actually, we can use our footprints to know just how close we can get before it runs away. It's got a little flower inside of it. Got it. Let's grab that. Mysterious flying object. Okay, frog, you're coming with me. Let's go up. A long way, apparently. Oh, and there's a Pixel mo Cat Maroon. And Pixel Cat Peach up here as well. On this wall. That's cool. Get coins and also a, lot, a heart, which gives us more coins. But anyway, we can see Peaches over here. But before we say hello, let's go up even further. 
because we can get extremely high up here. What is happening? What is happening? Oh my goodness. Go down, please. Thank you. But I believe that if we go up here, it is the last purple coins. If I can actually get up there. There we go. So let's just hop out and go down. We can also ring the bell. And this is the entrance to, to downstairs as well. Which we'll probably use in a second here. How beautiful. Our entire world right there in front of us, which we can't see. I wonder where Bonin Bon Bonneton is. It must look so small from here. Oh, and this power moon came flying in from outer space. Would you like it? That's a little bit concerning that a piece of the moon came from outer space to the moon. Anyway, Peach in the Moon Kingdom. I've been away for quite a while. I should head back before anyone starts to worry. That's the last time we're going to see Peach in another kingdom. So let's get this little thing there. And let's find the rest of these moon pieces. The tip of a white spire. Ooh, too low. That's fine, I apparently can go up further than I can fall when I wall jump and throw a cappy. Which is interesting. <laughs> how, how high can I get up with this? Oh, it is having a little bit of trouble when, when I'm tr trying to wall jump off the same surface. Never mind. That would have been cool though to just be able to infinitely wall jump to climb up things. I, I, I'm missing one uh, moon piece now. Jump. And there it is. If I can get over there without everything breaking. Okay. Let's go pick that up around the front. Once the camera figure out figures out where we are in 3D space. Oh, jump. There we go. Moon shards on the moon. So let's head in this hole now. Because the secret entrance also drops us up here. And there's a moon for us to collect up here. So let's grab that. Very Banjo Kazooie esque, I guess. Up in the rafters. Also, if we go down here, there's a painting of Bowser having his wedding. So we can actually redo the end boss again if we wanted to by doing that. But we also don't need to. There's also, on the other side, should be a painting here, right? Well, there isn't. It's just a empty canvas. I've seen this portrait before. Okay then. There's also a hint art here, which we're going to have to take a look at. And I think there's also something else in here we can do, if we do a few more things. Nice place for a wedding, don't you think? We could be so lucky. Just gonna take this money. And I don't think there's anything else we can do right now, so we're gonna leave here and then come back in a bit. So, it's time for Cooper free running, probably. So let's do this last race, because I'm pretty sure this is the last place we can do a Cooper free running. That we haven't done before. We have to get all the way over there. Seems simple enough. Now, can I make this jump?
please. Oh my gosh. There's also these flowers here. I don't know how I made that jump. No, please! My time! My perfect time! I was doing so well up until that point. Especially going off the bit there. Oh my gosh. I was doing so well. Especially with that first jump. Anyway, 53 seconds. I was so close. To death and to perfection at the same time. <sighs> that was the regular cup, so let's do the Master Cup. I believe in me. Oh, there he goes. Maybe I can get a little bit of more speed. If I long jump with a bit of acceleration. Oh, please. That's not going to work. Nope. Ah, uh, retry. It's a good thing you can just restart from any point as long as you just pause. That's a better start. I, p I did my... Cappy bounce, my first cappy bounce too early. Oh, so close. Why did I get it the first time and now I can't do it again? That's just how it is with me for some reason. I'm not gonna make it. Nope. What is bro- what? How did I get it first try and then now I can't do it now? I'm so upset. I can't even express how upset I am with myself. I'm doing a better job of acceleration at that bit as well. Am I too low again? Please make it! Nope. Oh my gosh. Maybe I should just go around. That jump is a little bit, a little bit difficult. I can take the side path. Even though I would rather just go straight to the end. Grab a flower. And let's go. Nope, don't do that. Okay, that was fine. This is fine. I'm fine. Oh, please, Mario. How do I do it slower? Actually, no, it was faster. By like a millisecond or something. Or possibly the exact same time. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention to the milliseconds. But anyway. That was the Master Cup. Got a few more moons left to do in this kingdom. But that is it for now. So, thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time.